Request Network. Is this the next huge payments project in the crypto space? Should you be paying more attention to this potentially undervalued altcoin that is somewhat similar to Omise Go, Populous, or even 10x? In this episode of Reddit Knows Best, I'm going to share with you what Request Network is, why Redditors love this coin, and what my personal thoughts are about this project. So all of this juicy info, coming right up. Hello everybody, I'm Kevin from Bitcoin for Beginners, where we bring you the best beginner-friendly content in the crypto space. Now, we are working very hard every day to bring you the latest content that you guys ask for. So if you don't mind supporting us by like, comment, and subscribe, we would greatly appreciate that. Now, enough waiting, on to the research about Request Network. Okay, so Season 1, Episode 3 of Reddit Knows Best on Request Network, or ticker symbol REQ. And this one, Redditors have been buzzing about for the past couple of months, so it really caught my attention and I wanted to do a video on this. So before we dive into what the project is, let's take a quick look at the price action so far. And so it hit exchanges just before the start of November. And it had a huge pump late last year, like all altcoins did, and it's been consolidating ever since with a slight recovery period, but then a drop down once again. So of course, if you like this project, it's way better to buy it now than if you did it a couple months ago at the height of the altcoin boom. Here's a look at the price earlier today. It's at around 20 cents. Market cap of 137 million and a volume of 1.6 million, roughly speaking. Decent amount of volume, I would say, and not too high of a market cap yet, so definitely room for growth. So, for those of you who don't know, what is Request Network? And I got this simple diagram from their website and white paper that explains what it is. So, basically, if you want to get paid for something, you can create a request to the Request Network. And then the payer who owes you money will detect and then pay the request, and then the money will go back to you. That's the high-level gist of it. So it's a decentralized payment system. Anyone can request a payment. This is what they call a request invoice. And it's a fast, secure, and cost-efficient process to fulfill this payment. Some use cases include invoices, online payments, Internet of Things, and much more. And of course, you can do this peer-to-peer, business-to-business, government agencies. There's a lot of different entities that can use this. So this is a mock-up of what their app would look like. And let's say that you're a developer and you do some freelance coding work, right? So you want to send an invoice now because you're done. So you type in your requests and then you send it. And then this second screen is what the person who hired the freelancer would see in the Request Network app. And they can pay now and do it very easily. So why use blockchain? Always an important question to ask in the crypto space. Well, first, you can keep your bank account info private because beforehand you have to give people your bank info to get them to do an ACH or a wire transaction, for example. And you have no need for third-party processors this way because it's all handled on the blockchain. So this reduces overall fees because you don't need to pay for third-party processing. Blockchain also provides immutability and transparency. And this makes it really great for auditing and accounting after these transactions are done. Finally, this makes this network accessible worldwide, whereas other payment methods may have regional restrictions. Some more important details. And of course, there's way more details than what I'm going to provide in this short and sweet video. So definitely encourage you to go take a closer look afterwards. First of all, it's going to operate on the Ethereum network. So it is an ERC-20 token. The purpose of this token is for transaction fees, which will be burned, and also future governance. Its fees are going to be 0.05 to 0.5% of the payment value, which is definitely less than PayPal, Stripe, BitPay, etc. You also don't need to hold REC tokens to use the system. Instead, when you use it, it's going to be automatically bought from like Kyber, for example, and burned. They also have a three-layer architecture. First, the core payments for payment completion, currency conversion, just the basic stuff. 
Second is extensions. These are open for devs to build on top of. So this is like continuous payments, accounting, etc. More advanced features. Finally, applications. This is third party to access invoices, history, and their reputation system. And this all can be done off the blockchain. This request network is also currency agnostic, so you can choose to pay or be paid in fiat or crypto. They handle all the conversions for you. They've partnered with Zero X and Kyber for cross-currency payments. Really cool to be partnering with these two, two of my favorite projects in the crypto space. Finally, they originally entered Y Combinator, a world-class startup accelerator in the Bay Area, close to where I live actually, as Monetis. And they sort of pivoted to this request network after realizing that invoices and payments were a huge part of their customers' pain points. So now let's take a look at Reddit's take, and I'll offer some of my thoughts as well. So the first thing this guy said is that it's worth pointing out that request networks built with 0x. It's one of the possible network effect projects for those interested in 0x, which is another very promising project in the crypto space. I love when crypto projects work together and integrate with each other because they just help each other out and help the crypto space as a whole. So another person noted that YC or Y Combinator's business tactics are extremely aggressive. Basically, they really help their startups succeed and push it all around with further partnerships. And this I definitely agree with because Y Combinator is a huge deal, pretty hard to get into, and has a lot of success stories like Dropbox, for example. So another person's commenting on their recent partnership with PwC France, I believe, and how they do a lot of different things besides just accounting, like M&A, technology consultancy, business consultancy, restructuring, a lot more. So this really opens the door for Request Network to expand their network indirectly by partnering with PwC. And someone else was noting how now that they can accept BTC with Request Network is a big milestone. And they also added ERC-20 tokens so they can accept a lot of different payment forms now. So great work so far on hitting their roadmap milestones. So someone else wrote that they truly believe REC is one of the most undervalued projects in crypto. It's been outside the top 100 for the most part, despite great partnerships, the tech roadmap, and huge market potential. And so I really like what they're focusing on too. This is not yet another smart contracts or blockchain platform. Instead, they're focusing on something I feel like crypto and blockchain can really help with, a legitimate use case in a world where a lot of dApps are really forcing blockchain into their system, even when they don't necessarily need it. And this Redditor notes how Request Network has a huge community. It's subreddit with 33,000 plus subscribers. And this was of eight days ago, so it's probably grown a little bit since that. You know, coins having big communities is always a plus because they will help with creating hype organically and also maybe even partnerships and other types of adoption. This guy is also pretty bullish on Rex, saying that his time will come and that the team has a first things first mentality, focus on building the product, not really trying to market to the masses and speculate on the price of the token. Really responsible in my opinion, bravo for that. And someone else noted that they would like to see REC have an Asian partnership or at least more exposure to the Asian market because a lot of the coins that are from Asia really rock it and get a lot of interest. So that's a really good region to maybe focus some energy on in terms of marketing. And so thank you guys for watching. I guess I should also disclose that I do not have any request network or REC tokens as of right now but potentially interested to buy it since this recent correction or consolidation. And so let me know down in the comments below what you think about my points, if you like Request Network or if you don't. I would also love to hear your opinion. And once again, thank you for watching. Please smash that like button, click below to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Kevin, and I'll see you next time.